So we've been looking at choosing the key, and so far we've got four numbers that we could choose as the key based on them being very simple. Do you remember them in, in order? What's the very, very fastest key? A zero. Mm -hmm. And if there wasn't a zero, what's the next fastest key? One. That's right, mm -hmm. yeah. And after the one... The ten. Mm -hmm. And the eleven. Then the eleven, that's eleven. right. Now, all of those have zeros and ones in, but the next key that we'd be choosing would be a two. Mm -hmm. So you choose two as a key if you haven't got zeros and ones in one of these combinations, zero, one, ten, or eleven, which are numbers which only contain digits of zero and or one. Okay. Yeah? So after that, we're going to go for two. And that's when you choose two as your key. Okay. So when we choose two as the key, we need to be able to link that to the picture for the two. And our picture is a ladybug or ladybird. You know those little red things that sometimes you find in the garden? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But why? Why is it a ladybug? But it's a, a ladybug doesn't look like a two. It doesn't look like a two, does it? But have you ever seen a ladybug fly? It's got like a shell on its back and it opens up its wings. Have you ever seen the shell open up? Yes. And it flies off? How many parts of the shell are there? Two. Sure. There's two parts of the shell, and those are the bright, shiny red parts with the dots on, yes? Mm -hmm. Those two shells are the bits that are going to help you remember that the two links to a ladybird, because a ladybird has two sides. Mm -hmm. And the thing about the two sides of the ladybird, if you have a good look next time you see a ladybird, have a look at those two shells, and you'll see that they have the same number of dots on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However many dots you have on one side, will also have on the other side. That's how we remember that the picture for the number two is our ladybird. So let's look at how we're going to use the ladybug to multiply things by two. Okay. Okay. So if you saw this ladybug here, and he had three spots on this wing, and I'm hiding the other wing from you, how many spots are there going to be on the other wing? Three. 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 Good. Can you imagine... If you were to see the whole ladybug, how many dots you'd see in total? Six. Six, yep. that's right. Let's have a look, shall we? There we go, there's your six dots. Mm -hmm. Now, you're able to picture that, even if you closed your eyes, you could imagine three dots on a ladybug's wing, couldn't you? And in total, mm. six dots, yeah? Yes. Good. This is how we're going to use the ladybug to help us multiply things by two. Okay. Because the number that I ask you to multiply by two, you'll put all those as dots on one wing. So if I said you needed to do three times two, mm -hmm. then you'd think of a ladybug with three spots on one wing. And two on the other side. And you'd imagine yeah. three on the other, and in total you're seeing six spots. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Now this is basically what multiplication is. It's saying, look, if one wing has three dots on it, how many dots would you have if there were two wingfuls of spots? We've got three plus another three. So when we say two times something, what we mean is take the number three and do three, mm -hmm. add another three, because then we've got two lots of them. Two times three, three, oh, okay. three times two. So two times three just means three. Add another three. Okay. Yeah. So this idea of seeing three spots on one wing and then three on another wing, we can actually do that with our fingers. If mm -hmm. you put one hand out in front of you and hold three fingers up on that hand, mm -hmm. and imagine that represents the three spots on one ladybug's wing, and then you could mirror that by saying, well, on the other hand, I'll do exactly the same number. So you've got three fingers on each hand. You can see then you're holding up six fingers in total. Yeah. Yes. We could do the same thing with other small numbers using our two hands, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. Let's imagine a ladybug with one dot on each wing. That would be two. In total, ladybug's going to have two dots, yeah? And you can do that with one finger on each hand. Yeah. What about if you had a ladybug that didn't have any spots on each wing? Zero. Yeah, zero. So zero and one are nice and easy to do. Now, if you were to see that as a multiplication question, one times two, and you just mm -hmm. told me that one dot on each wing, two times over, would give you two dots, would we normally use the ladybug to do one times two? No. What would you use? The torch. Well done, Karen, you'd use the torch. 
you'd say, well, I'll shine the torch on the number two. two. And the answer will be the two. That's right. And you're getting the same answer as if you saw a ladybug with one dot on each wing. Because okay. as with all of these problems, it doesn't matter which key you choose. It's just it's a little bit quicker to pick up a torch and shine on the two. Then imagine a ladybug with one dot on one wing and then put a dot on the other wing and then count up both of those dots to get to two. So yep. it's a tiny what about the zero? And the zero is the same. If we were to say, well, imagine a ladybug with zero dots on one wing and zero dots on the other wing, and that means zero dots overall. It would have been quicker to say, well, it's zero times two, so I'm just going to choose the... Uh, zero. Zero. Zero is the key, and the picture was the... Black hole. Black hole, and then everything disappears into the black hole, ladybug yeah. and all. They just disappear because we've chosen the black hole. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the other small numbers we've got, there aren't many that we can do on one hand. We could do four dots on each hand, couldn't we? Four fingers on our left hand, and then put eight. your right hand up. You're seeing eight. Do you see that, Karen? Uh -huh. That's eight fingers. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the most we could get to would be five spots on each wing. That would be ten. That would be ten in total because five and five, or two times five, is ten. Mm -hmm. Trying to imagine holding up more than five fingers in one go is harder because you can't do that on one hand. So we cannot then say, well, I'll do the same on the other hand. So for that reason, I want you to imagine that the most number of spots you can get on a ladybug's wing is five. Okay. Because that's how many fingers you normally have on your hands. Yeah. yeah? yeah. This is a full ladybug. Well, what that means is we can only use the ladybug to multiply up to five times two, and that wouldn't be very useful if we need to multiply more. So we need to learn how to use the ladybug when we want to multiply larger numbers by two. Mm -hmm. And this is how it works. If I asked you to show me six fingers on your hands, well, there we go, you've done exactly what I wanted to see. You've shown me a full hand, a handful of fingers, that's five fingers on one hand, and one on the other hand. Yes. Now that's six fingers, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now what I'd like you to do, Michelle, if you do exactly the same thing, but imagine you're going to mirror each other. What we've got there is both of you have six fingers up. So we've got six two times. Two times six. Six times two. Now, if you look at your reflection, Karen, mm -hmm. of your handful of fingers, and you imagine it with Michelle's handful of fingers. That would be ten. That is ten, isn't it? That, that is your full ladybug. And the other ladybug has one dot on each wing. Okay. So your one and your reflection of one gives you two. So you've got two over there and you've got a handful over here. Now you told me the handful was ten. Mm -hmm. And this other two, what do you get if you have ten and another two? Twelve. Twelve, that's right, because we write it down. When we're writing twelve, we write one, two, don't we? Yeah. So the one there is our full ladybug. Yeah. Or a handful of fingers mirrored with another handful of fingers in the mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's our one. So I want you to think of the number six not being six dots on one wing, but being a handful and one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yes. So six really looks like this. There's two ladybugs. One has got five spots on each wing the other has one spot on each wing. Uh -huh. And full ladybugs, they fly away. And you just remember that was one ladybug. It was a full ladybug that flew away. And it leaves just the other ladybug with one dot on each wing, that you, which turns into two. And that's where you get the other number. So you've got your one and your two. Uh -huh. You see? Yes. So when we do six two times, or two times six, six times two, we have this pair of ladybugs with five dots on one wing and five dots on the other, and the other ladybug had one dot on each wing. The full ladybug flew away to become a one, one mm -hmm. full ladybug, mm -hmm. and the other ladybug is the one that you actually multiply by two to give you two to put next to the one that flew away. Okay. So you get one, two, meaning twelve. You get that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's try that with another number that's bigger than five. Let's try nine. Show me nine fingers, Karen. 
Well done. So which hand is going to be a handful? Five. The five. So they're going to fly away and make a one. Mm -hmm. And the other hand, Karen, where you've got four fingers, when you look at the reflection eight. of that, gives you eight. So we've got eight next to the one that flew away. So we've got one, eight. Eighteen. Uh -huh. Eighteen. Well done. So you're seeing how to do this with larger digits. That's basically how we use the ladybug to multiply single digits by two. Mm -hmm. And we only ever have to think about ladybugs having up to five spots. In fact, the moment they have five spots, you know that that's going to be a full ladybug that flies away to make a one. Mm -hmm. yeah? So really, you're only ever having to think about multiplying by two up to four spots on each wing. Okay, good. Because okay. anything more than that would be your five spots that fly away and make a full ladybug. Okay. So let's see what we now do if we were to do two digit numbers. Let's take a simple one. Let's take the number 14. What we're going to do there is we're going to treat each digit separately. Okay. okay. So we're going to look at the one on the left being a ladybug that has one spot on each wing. That makes two. That mm -hmm. does make two, yeah. And that two we're going to put down as the first part of our answer. So the answer is going to start with a two. Okay. And then we kind of forget about that and just look at the other digit on its own. And we see a four and we say, okay, well that's going to be a ladybug with four spots on each wing. So how many would that be? Eight. Eight. Well done. So that's going to be the other part of our answer. Mm -hmm. So we've got an eight that we put down after the two. So our answer here is going to be two, eight. Two came from the one spot on each wing. The eight came from the four spots mm -hmm. on each wing. So our answer becomes two, eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Yeah. So 14 times two is 28. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good.